I'm Alan Parker, the president of the Justice Foundation, and I have listened to the stories of thousands of women who've had abortions and know about the devastation and pain that it causes. But one of the hidden kinds of abortion in America is forced abortion. And once abortion is legal, then it allows other people to pressure or coerce or force women to have abortions against their will. And that's illegal in every state of the United States of America. I remember the first time I was there in front of a clinic and a teenage girl told me, I don't want this abortion, but I can't fight my mother anymore. That's the most common kind of forced abortion, an adult parent forcing a teenage girl. But it's the young teenager's right to have an abortion or to choose life, even under current law. It's the woman's decision, not her parents'. And therefore, we've created some legal tools to help you prevent forced abortions. We have a dear parent letter in English and Spanish that explains to parents, this isn't what you wanted. You're not happy, but there are healthy outcomes. But you may not force your daughter to have an abortion. It's against the law. You can't kick your daughter out on the street and say, if you don't have this abortion, I'm kicking you out of this home. That violates the duty of care for your child until they become an adult. And you can't force them. It has to be the voluntary informed consent of the woman in order to be a legal abortion anywhere in the United States. So we want you to be empowered with legal tools that can help anybody to prevent forced abortion. Whether you're a youth counselor or a youth pastor, a crisis pregnancy center director, or just someone in a church or a women's group, anyone can tell someone, no one can legally force you to have an abortion. And if you're that woman, and it may not be just a teenager, often the father of the child will try to force a woman to abort his child because he doesn't want to pay child support or something like that. He has his reasons. And it's not his will, it's supposed to be her decision. And if she's choosing life, it's illegal for him to force her to have an abortion. We explain all this in tools that you can use to prevent forced abortions. And I urge you to get involved. I urge you to tell everyone it's illegal to force someone to have an abortion in the United States.